Hello and welcome to the summit of Holmfelt in the Central Lake District. I'm up here with fellow YouTube photographer David Dixon. And David's up in the Lake District for the weekend. He's been filming a collaboration with Julian Baird. And the three of us were on the summit of Cat Bells this morning for sunrise. We had an absolutely fantastic shoot. Anyway, Julian's now headed on up to Scotland and David and I have come out this evening looking for something for sunset. This is just a quick video. I hadn't really planned to film anything today. And I've been faffing about, messing around, trying to find a composition up here. I found something I liked. And then of course, I've lost the light. So the sun has now dipped behind the hills. But anyway, I did get, manage to get one shot, which I think is okay. So I'm gonna talk you through the composition now. Usually when I come out to take photographs, I have an idea of the composition that I wanna to go to before I arrive or at least the first one anyway. And I had an idea for Holm Fell. There's a nice view towards Coniston Water in the distance. But because of the time of year, we decided that the sun wasn't gonna set in the right place and we wouldn't get any color in the sky in the direction that we were shooting. So I had to look around for something else. Now, normally when I'm looking for a composition, I look for a subject, something to act as a strong focal point. And the most obvious focal point that I could find was this can here. For me, the can by itself wasn't interesting enough for a photograph. So what I've done is I set my composition up with Coniston water in the background. And I kind of use the can to grab your attention and then draw your eye to Coniston water in the distance. In order for this shot to work, I had to get the can and Coniston water lined up. And so what I've done is I've set the Benro up at almost full height. So I'm getting plenty of use out of my extra high tripod. I did lug it all the way up to Cat Bells and now I've lugged it all the way up to the top of Holm Fell. The next thing that I wanted to do was to bring those two subjects as close together as I could get them, to compress the perspective and to lose as much distance between them as I possibly could. In order to do that, what I did was I put the telephoto lens on and that compresses perspective and brings those two things together. Now, in order to emphasize that effect, I'm shooting at 200 mil. So we've got our main subject, we've got a secondary subject in the background, we're using the telephoto lens to compress and bring those two together, but that's not the end of the story. The other thing that I've done um, is to use a wide aperture, the widest this lens goes to is f4, and what that's doing is that's leaving the can in focus and throwing the lake out of focus. So let's recap on that. We've got a strong subject, we've got a secondary subject, we've compressed them together. We're using a wide open aperture creatively to throw the background out of focus. Is that enough for the shot? Hell no. What we needed was a splash of light and that's precisely what we got just before it dipped down below the mountain to my left. Uh, so this is the shot that I got. Let me know what you think of it. This is David, but if you don't recognise him, this is David Dixon. Hi David, how are you doing mate? Hi, yeah, good. Good. Uh, we've been together all day, we've had a good day. Yeah, yeah, it's been nice to chill out, just spend a bit of time in some nice places. Yeah, and you did a collaboration with Julian this morning, didn't you? Where you, and get this, ran up cat bells in the dark. Yeah, it was ambitious. It was ambitious. I, I went out and tried to help out with a bit of filming. I walked up about 45 minutes before they, they um, arrived. Um, and it was a beautiful sunrise. We had was. some good photography and a bit of banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. It was a good, fun morning. It was, it was. Yeah. So if you haven't seen David's channel, uh, go and check it out. I'll leave a link as we usually do. Uh, David is into landscape photography, but he's also into the kind of the benefits and the well-being benefits of photography and being outdoors. That's that's right, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's what I what I do photography for. Just uh -huh. for for my benefit and to enjoy beautiful places like this. Absolutely. So go and check it out and uh, we'll see you soon. 